Most of us have lawns, the neat, tidy, green grassy patches that are a quintessential part of English gardens. They're the perfect play area, great for a barbecue or a family football match. But on closer inspection, there's something strange about them. Our manicured gardens are a hostile, formidable place. Our lawn mowers, cutters, pullers and chemicals keep the weeds in check, while our grass is just inches above the ground. Anything that tries to sneak too close is dealt with by force. Although they may look bright and welcoming to us, our gardens offer little value for wildlife. Although some birds may feed on them, the majority of animals can't find shelter or food. The vast seas of grass are like deserts. Even in deserts though, there is one thing that can give life. Wildlife needs water. It's a breeding ground for some, a drink for others, and a habitat all on its own. One of the best ways to bring more life into your garden is to bring water, and the best way of doing that is by adding a pond. Ponds are species rich and support at least two thirds of all native aquatic species, also harboring many more rare plants and animals. But over the last 150 years, they have been filled in all across Europe and in the UK, we've lost over half of them. By adding a pond to your garden, you can provide a refuge and a stepping stone for wildlife in our modified landscapes and enjoy much more life in your garden. A network of small ponds can hold more life than a single water source, the same size as all of them combined. And it will also draw animals that don't live in the water to your home. By adding a water source, you increase food for other things like hedgehogs. Ponds are just one fantastic example of a small thing that you can do to enrich your area and help wildlife at the same time.